Hello, my name is Ms. K, and I work at the Kingstown Library. Today I'm going to show you how to make a clothespin apple tree. It's a simple and fun craft to make to celebrate the fall season. Follow along with me to learn how. For this project, you will need a clothespin, a brown marker, some glue, some red sequins, or you could also use some small red beads, some little pieces of red paper, or some small red pom-poms, a piece of green construction paper, a pencil, some scissors, and a cup for tracing. That's all you need. Let's get started. First, we're going to trace a circle on our green construction paper by using the cup and the pencil. So put our cup right here. Just bring our circle around. There we go. And then we're going to use our scissors to cut it out. Please have an adult cut it out for you if you need help cutting with scissors. Now that we've cut out our green circle, which is the top of our tree where the leaves are, we're going to add our sequins, which will be the apples in our tree. So put that down and we're gonna use our glue to glue some of the apples on. I think it works best if you flip the sequin over Go and put just a little dot of glue right on the sequin so you know where it's going and then you can just stick it wherever you like on the tree there's our first apple we can do another one just a little dot of glue and then stick it right there Ooh. stick it right there as our apple <laughs> let's do a little apple go there's three apples so you can stick as many or as few as you want on the tree just be sure to let it dry before you go on to the next step look at those pretty apples now that we've added all the apples to our tree we're gonna work on the trunk which is the clothespin we're gonna decorate our clothespin with some bark we're gonna use our brown marker to draw some little lines to make it look like our tree has bark. So we're gonna just turn it, you can start at the top, make some squiggly lines that look like bark. You can connect some because sometimes the tree has pieces that look like they connect. You can draw as little or as much as you want. You can even color the whole clothespin brown if you want with no bark. There we go, that looks pretty good. Now that we finished the bark for our tree and our trunk's all done, we can connect it to the top, just like that. And we have a whole tree with apples to celebrate fall. Doesn't it look great? Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed making a cute little apple tree to celebrate the fall season. Have a good day.